1600 to 2400 we're going to be solving advanced checkmates and attacking the castle king okay so here's the first exercise we're in charge of the black pieces give it four or five minutes max and then we look at the answer okay so candidate moves i'm looking at quickly guys the checks the captures and then i go from there like always post the video try to do it on your own but i'm already thinking i'm down a piece but after queen c3 I'm putting pressure on b2. There's no easy way for them to stop it other than advancing the pawn. And then this rook is going to participate. So queen c3, b3, I take on b3, pawn takes, queen takes, and then king c1, queen c3, king b1, the other rook comes over, and of course the ladder checkmate. Now, what if after rook b... Oh yeah, they have to go to a1, and then this is over. Now, if queen c3... Can they just go to c1? Well, I guess we have queen, rook b2. Mm. Now, I know, I know everything has to be forcing, guys. They have this pretty annoying check over here. Then they take on f7 or go back to check. So I'm not liking that. Actually, queen c3, check. If I go down, no, this doesn't add up. Huh. Now I'm getting concerned about this. Even, even after this move, this check, I just don't like. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I'm, I'm down two minor pieces. Like they could even sack. Rook has to leave and then they, and then they take. So this move, it seemed promising, but not anymore. Now maybe I'm missing something simple here, but this queen of six seems Pretty, pretty, pretty annoying, guys. Now, this doesn't seem like it either. Queen c3 has to be the first move. Now, queen f6, what do we do about it? Ah, maybe we just go to h7. Okay, okay, that's what it is. Whew. Okay, queen c3, if this move, I go down. This check, I just go back to h7, and then I'll have more checks. The other variation, queen c3, king c1, rook b2, check, I go down check i go up to h7 okay so this is the technique that at least for me was it wasn't easy to find allow them to do that check and then just hide now let's give it a try i gotta play here rook b2 and that's it okay so we are in charge of the black pieces what should we do well i'm looking at again my checks my captures there's a check there's a capture my bishop's aiming at the king side there's a hanging piece here as well. But of course, if I just take that bishop, they could take mine. Not to mention, they could come in with the rooks and my king is in the center. So this looks like a unique opportunity to attack that king. So I'm thinking, this is a forcing move, check. They take queen h4, check. King has to go down. And then bishop g2. We've talked about this sacrifice. It's like the, when we talked about the Greek gift. Well, similar situation. I'm threatening checkmate, and if they take it, my rook comes in, king g4, I mean king f3, queen g4, that's checkmate. Now, I need to really tie down the details, so one more time, take, what if they don't capture the bishop, what if, I, what if they just go to h1? So in that case, I think I have bishop g2, double bishop sacrifice, king takes, queen g5, if they go with this move, there's always a checkmate on g4. If they take, check, and then the rook comes in. So that one is easy. Bishop h2, king takes, queen h4, king goes down, bishop g2. Final move that I need to consider is what if they play something like f4? Well, I think queen g3 should do it. No, 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 no. Rook g8. Rook g I'm thinking queen g3, but they could play queen e1. So it has to be rook g8. The king is trapped and checkmate is coming. So guys, important that you calculate everything and you ask yourself, what could my opponent reply? We cannot allow them to surprise us with any defensive resource. Every move we need to consider. So check, check, sack, and they leave it here again, ready to do checkmate. If they take, then the rook comes in and checkmate on g4. This was a 2293. Let's go to the next one. And this is black pieces to move. 
Now, first thing that came to mind, of course, was check. King has to move MB6, but the knight is hanging. So that cannot be it. That cannot be it. I mean, the bishop is on the light squares, but no, that cannot be it. Now, with that said, we don't have many checks, either c6 or rook b3. And in this case, my opponent has a queen. I don't. So I know this has to be forcing. So c6, pawn takes, pawn takes. They take the knight. That doesn't make sense. Rook b3 has to be the first move. They go king a5. And then what? b6, they take... Mm -mm. Ah, I just had a very nice idea. <laughs> okay, guys, there's a chance you found it way faster than me, so congrats. Now, I'm, after I looked at those candidate moves, they don't work. I look at this other one that is a check. I should have considered it, and I didn't. Rook takes pawn on d5. Only move, and then checkmate. It helped that I considered the bishop is on these on the light squares, right? So checkmate in two moves, and I almost missed it. Well, three moves, sorry. <laughs> and b6, that was a 2197. Well, we're in charge of the white pieces. And this one seems pretty straightforward. First move that came to mind was this or this. Rook g7, if they take with the king, piece of cake. But they could take with the, the queen. And notice that even if we go for the rook after, we are down material. Now, what if I go here? Bishop takes... Queen h4 doesn't make sense. So that leaves me with queen h4. And what could they do to stop this move? Well, they could do something like f6 or f5. I think by the process of elimination, it has to be queen h4, guys. Like I calculated this again, doesn't really lead to anything. Even if I take. Uh, bishop a6, not so sure. Um, rook h8, they take this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Queen g7. So, queen h4, what if they go something like f5? Check on h8, bishop takes, queen takes, king f7, queen f6. King, ah, yeah, yeah, okay, I just found it. <laughs> I had calculated this before, but I was like, the king escapes. So it has to be this, guys. Queen h4, f6, f5, doesn't matter. I'm going to play rook h8, bishop takes, queen takes. And, and by the way, queen h8, they must take or they give me the queen. So if the bishop takes, queen takes, king f7, queen f6, taking the pawn if they played f6, or simply check if they played f5. If the king goes back, well, this is mate. If the king goes to e8, then this is pinning the queen. Even though, guys, I don't know. I don't know about that because even if I get the queen, it's I'm going to be left with only my queen. They get two rooks and the bishop. So I don't know. I don't know about that. But again, I don't see anything better. I don't see anything better. Capture some checks on the control. Now, how about deflection like if there's a piece that is bothering us and doesn't let us capture or go to a specific square we gotta think of eliminating it obstructing it deflecting it now what if we just go now this doesn't make any sense queen f6 and then i'm threatening this mate if they take us then e takes f6 and we throw in checkmate hey queen f6 Pawn takes, queen g7, what we take and then checkmate. Queen f6. Okay, it seems like it's queen f6. And again, guys, this is only after, and this is what happens. We go through the candidate moves. If they don't work, then we keep looking. Now, if we train like this, we give ourselves five minutes, then we actually get used to calculating quickly and if you're playing the tournament game you got 30 minutes left let's say you invest 15 minutes here then you find queen f6 game is over right so we gotta get really good at time management as well 
Now, queen f6, I would do it all over in my head. I don't want to lose my queen for nothing. But it seems like the move. There you go. And there's nothing they could do at this point. Now, from experience, I would just hide in front of the pawn. This is forcing checkmate. If I get out, they could do some funny checks and, and not great, right? So let me use that pawn as shelter. We talked about it on a great lesson we had on defense. And that's it, guys. Give me one. And look, this, this was ready 22 14. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now all of you could say you did your tactics training for the week. If you do more, great, but at least we did something. With that said, I will see you guys in our next video.